No YouTube. This is KD2 AVU. I'm now at my uh, QTH. This is my house. And today we're gonna take a look at my uh, antenna setup. So let's begin with the outside antenna. Um, on top of the uh, bed pipe, this is the uh, my uh, FM uh, two band antenna. So one on the left, one on the right. This is the uh, HF antenna I built. Um, it's a homebrew antenna. Um, if you get on the DK7 TV website, uh, there's a write up and an article about this antenna. Very simple antenna. So let's uh, get closer. Uh, this antenna is on a 31 foot uh, fiberglass telescoping uh, kite pole um, made out of uh, fiberglass. Uh, so it's non conductive. And let's move up. And, uh, each leg. So basically, this is a vertical dipole, and each leg is measured 7 meters long. It's non resident antenna. So you need a uh, piece of uh, line goes into my shack and uh, also the uh, grounding I have a grounding rod set up here and I don't know if you can see the tree actually uh, there's a thin wire going it's my uh, uh, low band and then, uh, uh, the feed point Go, go into the attic later. So now we're inside, and this is my antenna tuner, uh, the MFJ uh, 574H. Um, it's a balanced antenna, so uh, antenna tuner. I'm sorry. Um, so it's very efficient. Um, we use a balanced tuner. Uh, we'll get into that later. So, and this is my. Uh, HF uh, rig, the Yaesu FT450, uh, 450, and uh, on the bottom is my um, um, shortwave listening uh, uh, radio. And I just started uh, this hobby, uh, the ICOM R71. I uh, really love this uh, receiver, very quiet, and um, that's it. It's my uh, HF setup. Okay, uh, now we're in the attic. Uh, this is my main VHF UHF antenna set setup. Um, this one is the uh, two meter uh, DK7 ZB design antenna, uh, five element. And on top of that, uh, it's one of the uh, uh, 432 antenna I built. Um, it's a 10 element um, design. Uh, I designed this uh, 432 antenna, and uh, there's another one down here. This is another 432. I know the uh, stacking distance is not um, it's not good, um, but uh, it is what it is. Um, I do whatever I can to get on the air. Um, also, right here, that's a power splitter I made. Um, it's, a, it's basically just a aluminum tubing and a, and a copper uh, tube inside, square tubing. And uh, let's move on here. Um, this one is a 1296 uh, Loop Yagi I built. Uh, one, of, uh, one of the two. Uh, there's another one here. And uh, this is the uh, power splitter I made. Um, it's actually uh, working pretty well, and on the top is the uh, 222 uh, antenna I designed and made. Uh, it's a six element uh, on a shorter boom. Um, all these uh, antennas, except the uh, 12 uh, 222 antenna, the boom length is six feet. Six feet. So let's move over here. Um, um, this is my uh, do band um, 
four element on two meter and six element on four thirty two uh, antenna. I designed that belt um, on the bottom. This is the uh, six meter Moxon antenna. Um, uh, I built. Uh, I don't know if you can see um, the antenna by the corner, uh, the little one. That's a log periodic antenna. I designed and built. Um, this is for uh, HD TV uh, reception, but uh, um, surprisingly, because uh, when I designed this antenna, I kept in mind um, for ha handband use. So uh, this antenna transmit on 440 and uh, 900 megahertz. Uh, SWR is less than uh, 1.5 to 1 on both bands. So really happy about that. Um, but uh, it really pulls in those HD TV signals uh, pretty good. Um, I got almost uh, 70 channels uh, from uh, New York City, um, and um, um, and maybe further area. Um, and uh, that's I don't know if you can see the uh, letter line. Uh, this is actually the low band antenna uh, that I'm using on a. Uh, 40 uh, all the way down to 80 meters. Uh, this is the W3 EDP design, and then the balance box is over there, and the feed line goes into the shack. Uh, the shack is uh, <clears throat> on the second floor. Uh, that's my main shack, um, and uh, this is uh, where the uh, feed line comes in, and uh, the radiator goes out from uh, in between the shingles. Um, this is very stealth. Uh, and ten. So, okay, this is uh, basically me, my setup in the attic. Uh, sorry about the uh, mess in the attic. Uh, did a lot of. Uh, uh, I put a lot of uh, <laughs> junk in here. So that's it. Uh, my attic antenna setup. Uh, it's not um, ideal, but uh, it does work. Uh, and I do. Like I said, um, um, it's easier for me to maintain and test these antennas uh, with the antenna in the attic, but um, it does perform way better if I put these antennas outside. Um, I don't have a lot of uh, RF, uh, RFI issue uh, with the antenna being in the attic, even uh, when I'm running 150 watt down 2 meter. So uh, that works pretty well. Um, Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like my channel, please uh, subscribe, and uh, like, and share my videos. Thank you.